What's up guys? My name is Fusions and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up this Bakugan Trox Ultra 3 pack. Some people requested that I should open this, so I am. Here we go. Let's get started. I think this is my first ever 3 pack from the Armored Alliance set. So pretty exciting. We got this Chaos Trox Ultra, which you can see it has 800 B power, which is a lot. Not a lot of Bakugan have that much B power. We also have Darkest Pharaoh and Pyrus Nilius. These two are core, and this is the only Ultra we have in this three pack. So yeah, here they are. Pretty cool. Now let's open it up and take a look at them up close. Because yeah, they, they could be really good. I saw their Evos, which I'm gonna show you guys on screen when I when we take a look at the Bakugan. And uh yeah, they look like they could be really good. Alright. I'm having a lot of trouble. There we go. Never mind. I was gonna say this is a little difficult to open, but I think I got it. And I forgot what the, the three packs come with, so we're gonna take a look at that. It probably comes with a gate trainer card because a lot of Armored Alliance Bakugan now come with trainer elite up. Uh, I can't talk. Um, gate trainer cards. All right, so here we have these two and trucks. And then the Baku cores are right here as well. That's it for this. We'll put that away. All right. So let me take these out first. Oops. There we go. Let me take these out first. You have to push them out, which is sometimes very difficult to do. There we go. All right. So that's Nilius. And we got. There you go. Pharaoh. Nice. And now. To get started, we're going to get started with these. These are the character cards. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes with the, a Baku gear as well. But let's see. All right. So we have, first off, we have the how to play, how to play guide. We also have how to close uh, trucks. As you can see, like the step by step and the list for all the Bakugan. We do have a trainer, a gate trainer card, which is this one. I think this is Leah with uh, Picatrix, pretty cool. We'll, we'll put that on the side. And then let's take a look at the character cards. And I guess we do have a Baku Gear card. Hail Bracers, I think I do have this one. I think I got it in a Picatrix. Yeah, I think I got it in a Picatrix Bakugan video. Oh, we also have another one, Dark Helm and Pyro Cannon. So we get one for each Bakugan, that's pretty cool. And here is Pharaoh, here he is, this one right here. We have Darkest Pharaoh which comes with a helix and a green fist, 600 B power and five attack. It looks really good for the stats. Just the base stats look pretty good. That's good. Here we have Trox, which has a magic shield, which is always good that a Bakugan has a magic shield and a green fist, which is not as great, but he does have a base of 800 B power and two attack. Really good. It looks really good in my opinion. And then we have this Nilius that has a really good evil. You guys will see why, but it comes with two flame fist, 600 B power and one attack. It's it looks good. I think this is probably the best one out of the three, but we'll take a look at them. All right. So here we have them. We're going to put the cards back here and now let's take a look at first. We'll take a look at the cores. We'll take a look at um, the buckle one after. So here they are. Here's a green fist. We have plus two attack. We've seen a lot of those. We also have a plus 650 B for the magic shield. These are really, really good. Minus four attack for the flaming fist. Another green shield that has plus 100 and then Ventus and Chaos plus three attack. Another flame fist for plus 150 and plus four attack. I don't think I've seen this one before. So I think this is new. Awesome. It's always good to get new uh cores and this one i have not seen either a helix plus shadow sneak has there been any he any cores that have shadow sneak on them let me know down in the comments because i don't remember that any course had this before armored alliance but that's cool that they're bringing more like newer cores all right now let's take a look at we'll take a look at darkest pharaoh first so once again here are his stats pretty cool now let's open them up because they do come in ball form. All right, so here he is. I have opened an RLS Pharaoh in the past. So I know 
this Bakugan already. We're just taking a look at the new paint job that he has for Darkest. It looks nice. Most of it is black. There's not too much detail in my opinion. It's only on the face. But there he is. Now let's take a look at the B power, which we have right there, 600. My opinion, Feral is a cool Bakugan. It looks cool for a core. All right, now let's close them up. I think I know how to close them. And it, it is a core, and this one is actually a little difficult to do. There we go. Oops, it opens up. But there, that's it for that one. Pretty cool Bakugan, and the base stats are pretty nice. He does have an Evo, which is right there. It is, it's an okay Evo, five energy. I don't know, I don't know if it's all right. It's probably the worst one out of the three that I'm gonna show you now. And now let's take a look at Nilius, which is the one that I'm excited for. I, I really am. There he is. Look at that. Pyrus Nilius. And this one already looks a lot more cooler than the Pharaoh. Yeah, I like it. I already opened a Nilius as well, which is the darkest Nilius. If you have not watched that video, go back and watch it because that Nilius is also going to be really good. Just like this one. I mean, just take a look at the Evo. Wait, first of all, take a look at the stats. Here are the stats, 601. And now take a look at the Evo right there. As you can see, it looks like a really good Evo for only four energy. That's really good. And because of the ability, when you open this Bakugan during battle, you can play the next Empowered for free. So that's really good. Let's just put this as an example. Let's say you play Chaos Control right here, right? It costs only one energy, you get three more attack. And because you can play in power for free, you get three frost strike, which is like so good. It's actually really, really good. In my opinion, if you do that combo, it's gonna be really good. And with these new Armored Alliance set, which is uh, Armored Elite, you're gonna wanna play Pyrus and Chaos together because of, um, you know, that card that everyone's looking for. All right, so the Nilius is pretty easy to close. Yep, I already have one, so I know. Now, let's take a look at Trox. Okay, so here is Trox. We're gonna take him out. Pretty cool looking Trox. This is uh, the newest uh, model of Trox. And he had a different one, which I didn't really like, but this one looks, in my opinion, it looks better than the other one. What do you guys think? Does this one look better? But yeah, six, 800, not six, 800 B power and to attack with a magic shield on top of that looks pretty powerful and he does have an evo as well which is maximus trox ultra you will see it on screen it could be good the only thing that i don't like about it is that i'm trying to open his mouth can his mouth open tell me it can yes it can Ooh, pretty cool yeah so the only problem with the evo is that it is seven energy which in my opinion could be too much I don't know. I don't know. I might have to play around with it once I get that, but we'll see. Now let's see if I can close them up because this is an ultra and it might be a little bit more difficult to do. But let's see. All right. So it looks like we do this. The head goes back and then is that it? No, that would be too easy. That would be too easy if that was it. Nope. You see, I thought it was easy and it's not. So we do this, this. Yeah, yeah, this does not look like it's closed at all. Okay, so I failed at closing it for the first time, but I think I got it. I just literally did it again and it worked. So what I did was this first and then I closed it with this. So now I have like a little ball right here on the bottom. Now I can flip this over and then close this up. So yeah, not too difficult. Yeah, it's a level one, I think on the packaging. So yeah, it's not difficult. I don't know why you couldn't close it the first time. So now let's see if I can roll all of these Bakugan into Baku cores. I'm gonna do all, all three at a time. What do you guys think? Can I get all three at the same time? Okay, so here I have all three set up. Let's see if I can roll them with one hand, all of them at once. Three, two, one. Nice. So I got all of them in one roll. Pretty cool. And Trox was able to stand up as well. Awesome. So here we have the three pack. That's it guys for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. What do you guys think of these three Bakugan? I think out of the three, this Nilius could be super, super good. 
just because of that evo but what do you guys think which one is the the strongest leave it down in the comments below and subscribe guys because i think i'm gonna do another battle brawlers unboxing soon probably tomorrow or the next day but yeah be subscribed thanks for watching guys and peace out